faith, a firm belief in something without proof or evidence, or an unshakable belief in something without good reason. Why the hell would anyone believe anything without good reason or evidence? But billions of people do, and in some cases, it's even considered a virtue. People use these beliefs to scam people out of money, scare people into obedience, discriminate against others, and even justify murder. I'm comedian, skeptic, and professional bullshit debunker, Ian Harris. Behold the atheist's nightmare. You'll find the maker of the banana, almighty God, has made it with a non-slip surface. Just the right shape for the human mouth. Religion. Wait, 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 wait a second. You are trying to argue that man and other apes didn't share a common ancestor, and your evidence is a fucking banana. Ghosts. You're gonna come out, you're gonna show yourself. Psychics. Was there a divorce with you? Never, you never married? No. Okay, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because I want you to love yourself more. Bigfoot. Wow, did I just see a Sasquatch? Astrology. And as a Virgo, I'm very logical and very rational. Apparently not, because you fucking believe in astrology, okay? All of these things are believed without scientific backing. All of these things are believed on faith. If you go in there as a character, and you go in there Ali G style, and you have a discussion about it, and then you take them one step further. Hey, Reverend Jeffries? You're welcome. Nice oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Varshi, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, Thank you for having me on the show. I, I um... Here's the thing, I, so what we're doing here, I'm look, I'm going around, I'm trying to find a religion. I'm gonna read this thing from cover to cover, and I'm going to just know it. And I got into like a few pages in, I'm chapter three, and hello. Leviticus. Leviticus, exactly. I thought, you know, I, I'd, give, I'd give the Islam a try, and I, here's, here's what's really uh, exciting me uh, about becoming a, an Islam myself. I have violated the heck out of some of these laws. 1822. I don't know the numbers, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just know I've been reading through some of this stuff and going, violated, 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 violated. I keep seeing on the Fox News, they keep talking about this reward when when, when, when an Islam man dies, that he gets seven, 70, 72 virgins, something like that. That, to me, that's the kind of appetite that I have. I mean, I know in Christianity, you know what you get when you die in Christianity? You get a harp and a cloud. You tell me if I need to obey this or not. I mean, I don't know. Well, you I need to obey all of God's laws. All of these, these things? These are sacred rules. <sighs> you are rewarded with tall, beautiful women that are very large-breasted and like large -breast. and pale-skinned, described pale? as white. White, white women? There are white women in there? I mean, I'm not, I ain't a racist man. I'm not saying like, hey, white women, I'm not saying, but, but I gotta admit, I'm here from America, man, I, and I do, I'm conditioned to enjoy white women. Well, it is your own personal paradise, so if that is what you want, that then is yes, my personal that is paradise. what you shall receive. This one would be fine with me. I'm going to hell. I got this set, it's Jesus, and it, I got no, it when no, I was no. 17 That's years old. You're gonna, uh, you can have a tattoo. It's right here in Leviticus uh, 1928, it says, do not lacerate your bodies for the dead. Hello, Jesus is dead. Do not tattoo yourselves. I am the Lord. Oh yeah, this is great. We can get rid of gay people because Leviticus says so. And they're ignoring Leviticus. Yeah, uh, you can't have tattoos. Well, it's okay. We can ignore that part of the Bible. God was wrong here. I myself have never laid with the woman. I don't tell people that a lot. So please, it's not something I like to tell people, but it's the truth. I myself am. You're saying you are virgin yourself. I'm, I'm a hurry, and I just want to make sure that if I can get up there, that there is another another Islam man that has done a lot more, and it's going to be me and 71 other dudes like me serving this guy for the rest of eternity. Like that would be. You, you do not end up going what is up that, there. What's as that? The, what's that noise? Uh, I, I'm sorry. This is my prayer, brother. If you do not mind, uh, give me a few moments. I must take a prayer. Do not clip your hair at the temples. Do not trim the er edges of your beard. I don't even have a beard. Okay, look, this body can hairless all the way through. Well, except for except for this, the flavor saver. I keep the flavor saver. That's a personal choice. It's fashion, whatever. But you must pray facing towards Mecca five times a day. Five times a day? Yes. Well. Christianity's got to beat on that one. You only got to go Sunday, and sometimes you don't even have to show up on that one if no. But you go do your thing. Okay, so I don't have to follow these laws. These aren't the hard, fast laws of the land. It's more about the, the spirit of the law than the letter of the law. Oh, thank Jesus, because uh, last week I went camping with my partner Phil, and I tell you, we violated about seven different laws that day. It was crazy. It was like... I want to feel out what they believe. I want to agree with them. 
give this stuff back to them so they're, they're in this combat with their own ideology. The world watching is going, wait a second, they don't even agree with themselves. So join me in the studio, on the streets, and even undercover as I go on my own mission to expose all the fakers, liars, scam artists, and zealots, the dangerous ideas, and the unjust laws. I'm gonna do this the only way I know how, armed with the facts, my wit, and great comedic timing. Oh,